So yesterday's vote in the House could lead to more than 150 million Americans losing access to social media app TikTok. They're calling on China to divest all interest in the app because of a national security risk, which TikTok denies. But the bill was met with some mixed reviews in the House. So take a look. The American people have a right, a First Amendment right of access to foreign propaganda. The bill seriously undermines civil liberties by essentially banning a platform that 150 million Americans use to engage in free speech and expression. I'm a constitutional law attorney. This is not about um, the, the content. It's about the conduct. And, and I think it's a, a, a serious and direct threat to our national security. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic-tac-toe. A winner. She's good. I, uh, She's sometimes, good. <laughs> when older people are talking about this, mm -hmm. we might want to <laughs> find other ways to go, because that was quite funny. She's really funny. But do, what, who are you agreeing with, or are you agreeing with anyone here? Do you think there's an issue? I, I, I see you. I agree with Nancy Pelosi on this. Um, listen, when 300... You agree with Nancy Pelosi? I do, I do. When 352... <laughs> lawmakers left and right come together and say this is a bill that needs to be passed, Americans should listen. Um, we don't see a lot of bipartisanship. TikTok has been described as digital fentanyl. So basically the, C the Chinese Communist Party is invested in ByteDance, which is a platform right. behind right. TikTok. There are major privacy concerns. There are national security concerns. And then there's this, you know, disinformation, propaganda, and yeah. mental health concerns. TikTok exists in China, but it doesn't look anything like it here. There's limits on how much time people can spend on oh. it. There's content oh, moderation. Yeah. <laughs> it looks nothing like ours. This is not going to make TikTok go away. It's going to say that an American entity needs to buy it so that there are restrictions in safety rails in place. Right. Um, there is a China could refuse to sell, but right. you're talking about a multi, you know, billion dollar sell and million less less an audience. But I, allergy. this would, is very important. It would be a bad business decision, don't you to think? Not to, to not sell. To not sell. So I think they will, but they've already lodged their objections to selling. But the one thing, you know, I thought, it's TikTok. Who cares? I'm not really even on TikTok. I know that one of my kids is. But then I started reading into it, and as it turns out, TikTok confirmed that journalist data was accessed by employees mm -hmm. of TikTok, of the mm -hmm. parent company. And it was 2022, mm -hmm. they surveilled Americans on TikTok, including several journalists who were writing critical mm -hmm. stories about the company. Yeah. So let me They're ask getting you this our question. information through it. But aren't we, isn't our information already out there? I mean, because American companies seem to, I'm not, I, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. it feels like, Everybody's doing the same thing. They're trying to get all the 411 on everybody. That's what old people say. But this 411. is a foreign app. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, 411 doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, no, it doesn't. The but problematic I, uh, detail here is that it's, a, it's a, a, an adversary of the country. Yeah, and that's foreign. even foreign, yeah. With this particular push of this uh, bill, they actually use location on all the phones to push people to their Congress people. So our Congress yeah. was being inundated mostly by young people crying about how they were gonna lose TikTok mm -hmm. because they were also f falsely being told, mm -hmm. we're gonna eliminate TikTok. TikTok will be sold. There are already investors being gathered by Steve yeah. Mnuchin. But well, Kevin O'Leary has offered to buy but it. Is it, a, it. But is it smart to sell TikTok yeah. to, uh, well, you don't know yet because the qu hear the question, hear the question. Yeah. Is it smart to sell TikTok in an environment where all of the things that we're ta all the concerns we're talking about are not concerns we are protecting here. Yes, because all of the Thank social you. media, it is a great question, <laughs> all the social you. media companies have major privacy issues, yeah. Meta, mm -hmm. uh, Google, all sure. of them, but they get brought before con Congress and there's a level of accountability and public outcry. Mm -hmm. We have no oversight because this is the Chinese Communist Party and we've seen radicalization. Mm -hmm. We've seen people teed up within minutes of being on the app, young people exposed to, you know, things related to eating disorders. But don't we have the same health. issue? But to your point, would be yes, yeah. we okay. do have the same issue. And the reason we have the same issue is because the Supreme Court decided that it was okay right. to not allow, to, to not have these companies, these social media companies, right. have accountability, say right? It, it's it's it Section again. 230 of the Communications Act. And what it does is it says, you know, I know that Meta um, has all these horrible algorithm, algorithms, mm -hmm. and I know Instagram is, is making our kids sick, but you are not really doing it. You're just a host 
Other people are posting content. So those people may be, uh, you know, liable. By the way, it's really hard to make anyone liable about someone, uh, something that they say or right. do because of free speech in this country. Yeah. Okay. And so, yes, to your point, you okay. are right. We don't have that many. And okay, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not on TikTok. I'm on Lipitor. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say this. The one thing that interests me about this topic, mm -hmm. and it's very boring to me, I have to say. The she topic said that during the Hot Topics meeting. Of TikTok, well. and I don't care. Right, right. So I'm not what, on what, it. What do you care about? I, right I'm now? interested that Donald Trump. <laughs> Here we go. It only took her two moves. Was uh, against TikTok. Was yeah. for TikTok. Uh, well, against against TikTok. He was against TikTok because he was against China. <laughs> right. And he wanted to appear tough on China. Right. But now mm -hmm. he's against TikTok. So yes. my, my question is, who's paying him? You know, if you give this grifter money, he'll be pro he'll be pro immigrants. Well, yeah. The guy I will be anything pro if you pay him. But off. I still challenge the problem with the domestic versus the foreign because Christopher Ray, the FBI director, actually said you are literally putting in the hands of China. Uh, millions of phones where they can control your software on your phone. Right. So again, we can have bad actors here in the country, but in a democracy, we do have a system, imperfect as it may, to challenge that. Well, China is a well, dictatorship. But if it they was have no Russia, right. Like, if it was Russia and not China, would anybody be for it? Nobody would. Well, and can I just except say, these well, few Republicans to, to the who Trump love China. Point of it, uh, Russia. Trump would, had mm -hmm. the opportunity in his administration to break it up and yes, sell off by against. Right. For some reason, he didn't. But then he kept saying, "I'm tough on China." It, we need to break up TikTok. Right. Then he reversed on it. There's money involved. There's right. also, I believe, he's not actually tough on China. And some of the he's folks not. who were against this mm -hmm. bill, the, the the likes of Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, Andy Biggs, Nancy Mace. I'm sorry, it's the crazy caucus, and it's people who don't yeah. understand foreign adversary threats, right. and they're every day or, playing into our adversary. Or maybe so, they understand, and Trump told them that that well, was and the play. They do what he said. But here's, but the question remains. I mean. If we, if we don't have anything in place already mm -hmm. to protect us now with the things that are here now, yeah. with them coming in and buying it, what protections even do it, we have even through... Even if it becomes it an American country? I'd still even rather it have is, it out of an adversary. We all remember the Osama I, bin Laden letter that went viral oh, on TikTok. That didn't yeah. go viral anywhere else. Yeah. There is a unique ugly playing field of TikTok where thing, people are hearing things that are dangerous and divisive and it's tearing us apart. Kind of like here, but... Because, <laughs> I mean, we, we've seen people get uh, manipulated into joining groups, yeah. supremacy groups, all it's kinds of stuff. It's not going to go away. Well, yeah. uh, the, but, but it'd be but nice it, to get their hands we, out of it. Well, before yeah. we buy it, before Maybe we, we allow them to, to buy it, we need to fix the law. 